Hi there. Let me ask you, in the business world, how often do you think you negotiate? I would suggest to you, you negotiate probably every day in formal and informal ways of doing that. So here are my top 10 tips to help you negotiate even better. Point one, invest time in preparation. All top negotiators invest a lot of time pre-negotiating meeting preparation stage. Very, very good reasons for that as well. It enables you to get all your facts, to maybe try and understand the other party, and also it gives you that much more confidence when you attend the negotiating meeting because you've put that effort in at the preparation stage. So let's look at tip two, profile the other party. What you need to try and understand is what is the other party's negotiating style like, for example. Uh, are, they, are they assertive guys? Are they aggressive guys? Is it good cop, bad cop routine? Also, um, what's the, uh, the, more, the more we know about the other party, the easier it is to plan for that negotiation. So, for example, do they have the uh, ability to make decisions? What's the level of power they have? What's the authority levels? Uh, the more we know about that, the easier it is to plan for that negotiation. Tip three. Develop your shopping list and estimate their shopping list. What I mean by that is you need to have a list of the items that you're going in to negotiate around. Seems obvious to say it, but a lot of people don't. Uh, so you have your shopping list, say one to 10, these are the things that I'm going to negotiate around. And the more I can understand and estimate the other party shopping list, the easier it is to start to look at mirroring and matching these together. Tip four, the mini max criteria. So what do we mean by this? Well, it relates to your shopping list. For each item on your shopping list, you need to have the minimum that you're prepared to accept. That's the mini. But you also need to have the maximum that you're prepared to set, and that would be your ideal outcome for that point. And that's a, a set of criteria for every item on your shopping list. So you have your mini and you have your maxi, and that gives you the bit in the middle is your, uh, the space you've got to negotiate each point. So point five, have an opening strategy. What that doesn't mean is going into the, the negotiation saying, hello, I'm John, that's just the introduction. You need to, all top negotiators have an opening strategy and it could be something like, I'm going to let the other party open in this occasion. Or if I choose to open, how am I going to open? Am I going to give information away easily or am I going to make it hard work for them? So you need an opening strategy. Okay, point six, have a concession strategy. What do you mean by that? Well, for each point on your shopping list, for each item, you need to know how you're going to concede that. Uh, if it's an easy item or if it's a low value item, maybe you'll be prepared to concede that relatively easy to get something back in return that's really important for you. Or if it's a really important item you must get, uh, it's maybe going to take a lot of effort. You may want to concede hard than that. In other words, concede in very small increments. So you, so you, you wouldn't go from 100 to 50 you may go from 100 to 95. So once again, you must have a concession strategy. Point seven, manage your emotions and behavior. You'll notice that all the top negotiators, all the professional negotiators know how to manage their behavior and their emotions. Even if you're feeling really bad, you've got to try and mask that. It's a bit like the poker player. Uh, use your behavior and use your emotions to your advantage. Uh, and that, that also includes staying calm, thinking clearly. And if it means taking time out, take time out just to reflect on, on how you feel. Point eight, summarise regularly. Once again, let's go back to your shopping list. As you agree each point in your shopping list with the other party, summarise that and make sure it's clear for both parties. Don't make assumptions and don't have any misunderstandings. Summary is a key behaviour in any negotiation. Point nine, get agreement in writing. This leads on to the summary. As you summarise and you agree each item on your shopping list, note it down a piece of paper and get the other party to note it down as well. Don't trust your memory. Many negotiators say, I want to get back to the office, I'll put an email and send it to you. That's fine, but get it in writing and get it agreed in writing at the table. Point 10. Preempt any possible objections or, or deadlock scenarios that the, you think may, uh, may, may come into the equation during the negotiation and have credible solutions to, to overcome them. Uh, think about a negotiation as potential conflict. Uh, you're going to negotiate with anyone. You're looking for something. They're looking for something. By definition, there could be disagreement. So be ready for any potential deadlock or reservation that the other party may have and have credible solutions you can use to overcome them. 
So in summary, there's the top 10 tips around negotiation and hopefully you'll find them useful and valuable to put into practice. But of course, like most things in life, we learn from being developed. So nothing, no substitute for good quality negotiation training. So if you're interested in negotiation training, either at an introductory level or an advanced level, uh, speak to me or any of the guys and we'll be happy to discuss it with you.